Let's dive into understanding GameMaker's user interface, or UI for short. In GameMaker, when you load it up, this big open area in the center is going to be your workspace. A workspace is where you see, edit, and organize everything that you'll be using to make your game. Up at the top, you'll actually see a tab called Workspace 1. This is the first tab. And if we go over here and click on plus, it actually creates another workspace for us. Now, if I go back to Workspace 1 and I jump over here and I just open up something, and this project I've got is the Towers versus Monsters template, if you wanna open that to be able to follow along. Let's go to the buttons and open up the button menu. You'll see that this opens this up in Workspace 1. And if I jump over to Workspace 2, there's nothing here. But let's say I wanted one workspace for buttons and one workspace for enemies. Now I've got my Frankenstein enemy here and my buttons here. And I can actually right click on this workspace, rename it, call this one buttons, and call this one enemies. So these workspaces are tabs that you can actually drag around, rename, and dock anywhere you want inside of GameMaker. This makes organizing your game really easy and fast. You can have exactly what you're looking for wherever you want it. The Asset Browser is this docked section over here on the right. The Asset Browser holds everything that you'll be using inside of your game. All of your sprites, objects, rooms, and more. Everything is grouped into folders like animation curves, extensions, fonts, and so on. And they work just like the folders that you're used to. So if I open up the objects folder, there's actually folders inside of here. If I wanted to find a specific enemy, I would open up that folder and here they are. If I'm looking for a specific tower, I can go in here and I can find that right here. And if I'm looking for something and I can't quite find it, I can come up here to the very top and there's a search feature and I can just type in exactly what I'm looking for. So everything related to menus is now inside of here. When you're done searching, click this little X. The asset browser is also a docked window, just like workspaces. So you can click on this and drag it out, have it floating, put it on a second screen or dock it anywhere else you want. Just drag it off to the side you want and it goes right there, making it easy to customize GameMaker to just the way you like. All of the menus that you need to know about are gonna be up in the top left corner. They are File, Edit, Build, Windows, Tools, Marketplace, Layouts, Help, and Source Control. Each one is gonna do a different thing. If we click on File, we can actually create a new project, open a project, export the project we're working on, change the preferences, and leave GameMaker entirely. If we jump over to Edit, it allows us to undo, redo, and search for assets and code inside of our project. The build menu is for when you're ready to actually play your game or even export your game onto an executable or another platform. The Windows menu is really important if you ever close out of something. So we have Windows for the Asset Browser all the way down to Recent Windows. That means if you ever click the X by accident on the assets and you can no longer find the asset browser, come on over to Windows, click Asset Browser, and here it is. Just drag it back on over to the left and you're all ready to go. Under Tools, we'll find texture groups, project images, and package settings. And then under Marketplace, you can open the Marketplace, check out your purchases, or create your own package. Under layouts, we can save a specific layout if we've moved things around. We can load a layout, or we can actually reset a layout if we were to lose anything or get too cluttered. It will take it back to default. Under help, we have all the help you'll need, including the manual, which is awesome, and you should definitely check it out. You can report any bugs or things that happen in GameMaker. You can visit the community and forum. You can check out the release notes and you can open this project in the Explorer. Under Source Control, you've got all the options of Source Control if you're using it in your project, including committing, pushing, and pulling. In GameMaker, you can work in your language. 
To change the language, we're going to go up to the File menu, click on it, and go to Preferences. Under General Settings, we're going to click on the IDE language, the very first one right here, and you can choose whatever language you're in. If I click on Japanese and click Apply, it's going to change it right there. And now everything is in Japanese so that you can quickly work inside of your regional language. You can come back to this language right here and change it at any time. And that way you can work in your language. They currently support simplified Chinese, English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish.